Hey guys, I'm Chase Halet with Halet's Advantage One RV. Just had this 2017 343 TBDS come in. And I'll tell you, this thing is in great shape. It's going to be ready to go for spring break time, which is coming up here probably within about a month or so. Let's see what February, March, April. Yeah, in about a month and a half. So uh, this thing, it's it's got a couple of extras. Um, it's got a couple upgrades. We're going to go check it out and check out the uh, condition of this so you guys can see what just landed here at Halitz Advantage 1 RV. So stepping right on into this thing, you know, this is coming in at right around 7,000 pounds. Um, you know, the overall condition in this thing is absolutely fantastic. Um, the upholstery on, um, on all the furniture looks really good. The linoleum looks really good. Um, it's got a brand new AC on it that was put on just last year. Um, it's got slide toppers on it. Um, what else is this thing? Um, I mean, it's got TV. It's, I mean, it's, it's loaded up. It's ready to go. This Coachman Catalina, I mean, you know, you talk about taking off and going somewhere for a spring break with the family. This thing is, uh, this checks a lot of boxes. Um, up here in the front is actually the, uh, um, the quad bunk. Well, yeah, I mean, you, let's see, you know, one, two, definitely that goes down into a bed three and then four up there i mean you could put four bodies um you know for the kiddos and then they got their own little hangout spot up here um if you look around here this is kind of cool this little tumbler mattress thing like i said it goes down into a bed but not only that it's kind of a cool little gaming spot put a tv up there and you know the kiddos can hang out but up here in the front and uh play some games or you know that kind of thing and that way uh they're out of our hair right um, anyway, so uh, up here, we're gonna work our way towards the back. You got a that's a fold-out bed, along with a uh, dinette that goes down into a bed. So even a couple more sleeping spaces if some friends come along. Um, but it's got some decent storage in here in the kitchen. Um, you know, with some drawers. They actually put the drawers in the kitchen, which that's cool. Not everybody thinks about easy things like that. But you got some more storage here. Um, as you, uh, you know, to the right-hand side of that door right there, as you walk into the, it's got a mid-bathroom in it, um, you know, easily accessible for, for the kids or for yourselves in the back. So, um, it's got a RV-style refrigerator in it. Um, it's got the double sink with the high-rise faucet. Like I had mentioned, um, the AC, that was replaced. That's brand new. Everything works in this. And I'll tell you, I know that for a fact because the guy that owns this um, is a, well, a couple that owns this, but the gentleman, he is a uh, RV uh, repairman. So anything that this thing ever, I guarantee you, it's ever, you know, anything that's ever, um, anything he's caught has been fixed right away. Um, nothing major on this one, though. So, I mean, as we all know, um, if you own an RV, you got to be a little bit of a handyman because these things never fail to show us that they are man-made. They're towed down the road in a hurricane slash, you know, earthquake. So um, things are going to happen. But you got the uh, bathroom in the middle here uh, to the left. I'm going to kind of work my way around in here. Nice stand-up shower, corner shower, but uh, vanity with a faucet or sink and faucet, little cabinet underneath, you know, some, some nice little storage in here for your towels and washcloths and whatnot, foot flush, uh, just a plastic toilet. And then uh, we'll flip our way around uh, into the back of the bedroom here that's a, a queen size bed that's a an actual uh, queen size bed it's that's a brand new mattress um, the plastic is off it but that that is a new mattress and uh, you got some nice storage back here as well uh, with your couple of wardrobes there some drawers and then of course um, underneath the bed you've got more storage there so I mean overall guys I I'm gonna tell you right now overall condition of this thing especially in the interior i mean nothing i haven't seen anything on the exterior um the roof it all looks really good so we're gonna go jump outside and uh so you can take a look on the outside of this thing you know and actually i, I want to another thing i want to mention on my way out uh to the outside the exterior of this thing you know it looks good it smells good it's i mean it, it smells like brand new in this thing it's you know you, you don't smell any pet dander or anything like that not that there was any pets in it but um no smoking it's just the interior of this thing is for 2017 you can't get any nicer than this so working our way around the outside here um it's not a pass-through uh, storage because you do have the bunks up here in the front but it does have a big storage 
uh, front storage compartment up here on the door side, which is nice. Uh, having that on the door side because everything's easily accessible when, when you're camping. It's on your camp side. So um, up underneath, underneath of this thing, uh, it's fully enclosed. But not only that, I mean, you can see around the edges. It's been uh, spray foamed around the edges. Um, and it's not like the you know type of spray foam that's um, yellow and then ends up turning orange. And, you know, you use the black spray foam. So it looks good. Um, I don't see any bumps or dings. On the outside of this, the uh, actually the awning is new as well. Um, I had made mention that uh, uh, they did put slide toppers on this, and you'll see those as we work our way around the exterior of this trailer. Um, but guys, like I'm saying, it does have the original tires on that. I do know that's a fact. That's on my uh, um, my sheet. It has uh, original tires, but as you can see there. Uh, slide toppers on both that way you don't have to get up on the roof and uh, You know just to clean the debris out you just get up there once or twice a year just to check your seals and things like that which um, When he had bought this, you know, he did a spot seal up on top. There is a couple of patches up there. Nothing is compromised um, I'll go snag a ladder and we'll go up there and, and check that out that way you can uh, put a visual on it for yourself, but um, we'll Go around we'll check the the slide outs um, so you can see that the bottom what the condition on the bottom of these slide outs are everything super solid No soft spots on that side uh, We're gonna go ahead and walk our way around here. You know all the seals look really good No soft spots underneath this one, you know, like I say all the seals around the slide outs Those look almost like brand new Like I say RV repairman. He's uh, definitely stayed on top of the maintenance of this thing um, you know, and I know uh, the wifey is definitely taking care of the inside. He takes care of the outside, she takes care of the inside. My wife and I kind of have that arrangement on our camper, seems like. Seems to be a reoccurring theme around the camping industry. So, overall, you know, you can see it's got uh, uh, stabilizer jacks, manual stabilizer jacks on each corner. And then, of course, up here at the front, we have a uh, electric tongue jack along with two 20 LP tank 20 pound LP tanks so like I say I mean uh, decals are in great shape uh, the metals in great shape I really cannot find anything wrong with this um, but we'll go ahead and like I said I'm gonna go snag a ladder real quick and we'll jump up on that roof so you can see what that rubber membrane looks like up the on the uh, roof there okay made it up here safely but as you can see, like I said, there's a few patches up here, and he did let me know about that. Um, but honestly, they're done exactly how I would have done it. And I think some of these are not even from uh, holes being up here. But as you can see, it looks like underneath the membrane, maybe uh, a staple had probably kind of popped on that uh, on that roof on that roof board there. But I think what it, it's just a little bit of preventative uh, maintenance that way. Nothing uh, later on down the, the line, anything's going to happen with those. Um, but not only is the patch on, but then you can see there's sealant around the patch. And that's what I've always recommended. That's the absolute best way to take care of a patch if you're going to uh, have to use one on your roof. But I've been all over. There's no uh, soft spots around any of these patches. Um, all of the sealant looks great. Once again, you can tell an RV <laughs> repairman... Uh, owns this because um this thing's in absolute great shape uh slide toppers look you know like I say those are put on brand new last year so those look super good uh rear term strip that looks super good everything looks great up here I definitely would not be afraid to own this thing i would be all over this if i needed a trailer but right now i don't need a trailer maybe you do give us a call so guys, if uh, you know you like this trailer and you'd rather see it in your driveway rather than mine, give us a call here at Halo's hey, Advantage One RV. We'd be more than happy to answer any questions uh, that you have about this trailer. Like I said, my main goal is to show you the overall condition of this trailer, and I'm gonna tell you right now, I would not be hesitant on this one at all. This is in fantastic shape. So like I said, give us a call here at Halo's hey, Advantage One RV. Hope everybody uh, has a great day. Take care. Stay safe and have an A1 day, everyone. Thanks.